Hey there Gunner, so yeah, thanks very much for sending these through. So um, we kind of done yours a little bit um, backwards in the sense, my 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 thought, really, well my fault really, uh, I was just kind of out of alliance, scouting other people's base, saw you at the front there, so I thought I'd do your base assessment video, but what I would normally do brother is I would uh, get these screens up, so I'm asking obviously for people to give me what vehicles they've got, obviously what level they've got, so I mean I know you're level 37, but if I've got say level 36, Six player, I'd maybe like uh, get them to send me the XP so I know what uh, what I've got to play with. Um, but this is kind of what I'm I'm looking at. So why I'm asking for these screens is number one, I can see that um, you know your shit. You've obviously prioritised well. You've got your PK first, then no doubt your Humvee IVF, and then your Humvee, which is excellent. Uh, but I'm looking at things like here your defenders. The fact that you've got one uh, coming out after seven seconds, another after seven, then uh, even more at twenty eight. Is fantastic, isn't it? Um, imagine um, a newbie. I mean, not that they'd have Zeus, but if they did, for example, and they put like four or five Zeus in that first slot there, and they're not going to come out for like a minute and a half, and you believe me, you see that all the time, you know, with, with tanks and things like that, then obviously you can give them some guidance that way. Um, same with the defenders here. I mean, just an observation there. I'm not saying that you're doing anything wrong, mate. I mean, you've got fantastic mortar men there, uh, level 9, absolutely superb. But they're coming out after 13 seconds. Could that be maybe 8 seconds if you drop to, say, 5 mortar men? And then the second tier, another uh, another 5 mortar men, and then more mortar men after that. You know what I mean? It's up to you, mate. It's your base. But uh, 13 seconds is a while, um, depending on where, where that is. Um, so maybe have a little scan of that. Um, now you've got um, in your Charlie. I tell you what, I'm I'm uh, jealous. Obviously, you've got a lot of uh, obviously the Zeus there. What you got? Um, four, five. What's that? Nine, twelve Zeus in your in your platoon. So obviously, hundred point each. Um, now the feedback is that the Zeus at the moment are now susceptible because they're not very well armoured. So perhaps you, you drop a couple of Zeus, put a couple of tanks in there, and like you would have done with your Humvees back in the day when you had them, or use them possibly. You send your tanks in first, take them to absorb the power, and then you send a Zeus in. So that's superb. Just a thing that I'm looking at at the moment, I mean, you've got 16 uh, of your... Um, um, reapers there maybe if you put 16 in one column as opposed to two separate columns you're more likely to be able to take out the uh, war factory in in one hit i know it sounds bizarre but i believe if you send eight and eight um that slight pause in the eight is enough to take out more of them than you'd expect just that small little gap and then that means that you're not going to take the war factory out you're going to leave maybe a little bit of health on it whereas if you send um uh, 16 in one hit i think you're pretty much safe that you'll probably take out that factory um so it's stuff along that sort of line you're looking for um so what have you got here? You've got uh, Bravo, like you said, a bit of an experimental mixture. Can't fault it, not wrong with that. Um, you know, you probably need a little bit of tank cover in there, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I, I guess you use that for a specific type of base setup. Uh, but that's what you're looking for, bro. You, you, you're you trying to get an idea. So, for example, if I, if I spotted a geezer here, and you do get all the time, if I spot a geezer here where he has got, say, for example, six tanks two uh, abs and say four rhinos and then a couple of mortarmen and that's his alpha platoon he tells you straight away the guy doesn't know what he's doing does he he's, he's, he's like he's like just sledgehammering his way through somebody's base you know what i mean and he might think that's effective it might work nine times out of ten it, it may well be effective in the case of winning but how effective is it in the case of oil consumption? Is is that the right method? Is that what we want in the team? Do we want somebody to sledgehammer? Because end of the day, mate, you put a couple of mines through there and he, he sledgehammers, his game over, isn't he? I mean, that wouldn't work generally on my base. Um, it wouldn't work on anybody's base who's got got the noodle. Um, it's 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 poor uh, attack methods, isn't it? So that's why I use this screen here. So typically, typically what I would do, I would get these screens in front of us now and the first video uh, in fact possibly the only video initially is a base assessment that i would do i'd pick my finer points out of these 
not much for you of course but my finer points would be you know what tweak that little bit because it's going to take too long to come out uh, tweak that little bit you know instead of using tanks you know maybe you should be using a Humvee method and then I'll actually send them a video of a Humvee attack that I've done you know using one tank or two tanks for cover and show them how the um, the kind of smoke and mirrors attack works where they sort of think you know what the, the only attack I've got is coming out of my tank nuzzle, um, uh, muzzle you know and I know it's not the ray is it you know what I mean but some people do think that is how you attack um, so I'd do all of this screen first and then I would obviously naturally move on to my uh, personal screens that I would have in the background you'd then open your rug wouldn't you um, and then you'd move on to sort of the base assessment side of things uh, and so on and so forth so that's kind of how I would be uh, using it and things along that sort of line uh, shit there's all sort of random stuff coming up you know what I mean but I would do the base assessment video after you've analysed that data there and overall you'd give them a, a measure of what to look at what to improve and then some structure for that and then you know you'd maybe recommend obviously uh, how to redo your base we've we've done that bit already I get that um, and then of course don't forget mate you know you, you instil in them what they need to do and don't you ever assume they're going to do it, mate. They'll, they'll, they'll do what they think you've asked them to do, but make sure you go back again, you know, commit in your own diary or in your own mind or whatever it is to go back and review that video and do a second base assessment to make sure they've got everything uh, online. And then obviously keep regular updates. I mean, look look, look what we're doing now. I'm communicating you via video, um, if you will, waffling on here because I've had a few cans and all that business. But I'm distilling a lot of information that will take me hours and hours and hours to type. And you know what? I bet you wouldn't read it. You'd scan over it. You'd be bored to shit. You know, I would be. But something like this, hopefully is far more engaging far more productive and far more uh, you know easier on your time and stuff like that so that's what i'm about that's what i'm trying to put through so hopefully i've got your support on that mate but remember if, if you're not if you're not a talker if you don't want to do the videos or out there i don't mind helping you i'll do a few um i'll i'll try and sort of um you know help out a little bit where i can but do expect probably in the next um um, maybe a week or so to get some privacy of your own because I really want to take this recruitment away from just one person and try and bring us all in but I suspect you'll still be there to uh, maybe do some of the um, you know analysis uh, some of the recruitment um, criteria as it were um, and we'll have a look at that as well mate see if I can offer you some support on that at the moment I'm not quite sure what the criteria is but I think it's just been pinned um, but yeah we'll we'll support you on that bro if you can support me on this I'll I'll do you do you a bit of a deal on that okay bro thank you very 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 much